The Jets kick off their regular season on Sunday at MetLife Stadium as they host former teammate Darrell Revis and the Buccaneers. Good morning, Gus. Good morning, Pat. We're having a great time here at the starting line of the New York City Marathon. I know there are many fans here who want to see you win a gold medal for Team USA. Let's hear it. It is crunch time in the world of baseball. The Yankees and Red Sox in the Bronx tonight as the Bombers continue their quest for the postseason. All right, I can't sing. I don't want to. DSRL. 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 Right, you heard it. Harry Chickman here with two legends, Venus Williams and Shaquille O'Neal in New York City. Looking forward to tonight. We have more baseball. The Red Sox battling the Tigers should be exciting. Right, let's start with the MVP, the person who should just take the microphone. Future Hall of Famer Venus Williams. The Rays beat the Red Sox tonight, so the Yankees trail Tampa Bay right now by a game and a half in the wild card race. And you and I battled in Philadelphia. I was a little tight on the back end. How did my game look? Any pointers? Uh, don't quit your day job. Okay, uh, that's you, it. You look good. I was, I was pleasantly surprised. Well, thank you very much, Pete Sampras. Great seeing you. Always a pleasure. Harry Chickman here with Pete Sampras. And also the Seattle Seahawks trying to win the first Super Bowl in that franchise's history. It's just one night after the Yankees ended the Tigers' 12-game winning streak in walk-off fashion. The two teams were back at the stadium this afternoon. Thanks a lot, Harry. It's great Thanks to see lot. you, baby. Love you, it's man. Great seeing you. Harry Chickman with Billie Jean King on WTT.com. The whole day we've been up on the top of the boardwalk, but now down on the railing, it gives us a little bit of a better view of exactly how serious and how strong these waves are. And also time for a quick break, but coming up next on News 4 New York, at six, the Knicks have their swagger back after their second straight blowout victory. Some people saying it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. The big game, Super Bowl 48. You can pretty much throw those predictions out the window because we're looking at the two best teams in the league. Despite all the trials and tribulations, the Giants are still very much alive in the hunt for the postseason. Harry Chickma, he is right now in Sparta, New Jersey, and just by the looks of you, Harry, you've got frozen precip all over you. Well, good morning from New Jersey, Al. I will tell you that the conditions continue to get worse here throughout the Garden State. Also, Mets general manager Sandy Alderson is in Cincinnati right now. He's expected to begin talks on a contract extension with manager Terry Collins. Switch to Verizon Fios for America's fastest, most consistent, most reliable Internet. Well, the Yankees have to get their act together tonight. Absolutely. It's almost a do-or-die situation every time they step on the field. The quest for the postseason coming down to the wire for the Yankees as they enter the night two and a half games back in the wild card race. The Bombers hosting the Red Sox this evening at the stadium with the pinstripes trying to rebound from last night's heartbreaking loss in extra innings. If you missed that battle, the Bombers trailed 7-2 in the seventh, but they scored six runs in the frame while Overbay capping off the comeback with this RBI to right. In the ninth, Mariano Rivera needed just one strike for the save, but Steven Drew evens the score with a single to right, so we go to extra innings. In the tenth, Shane Victorino connects for the go-ahead single off Jabba Chamberlain, and that proves to be the game winner. The Red Sox win 9-8 in dramatic fashion. We got to bounce back. You can't feel sorry for yourself. You know, I like the way our guys fought back, and if we continue to play like that, we're going to win a lot of games. A spot in the U.S. Open Finals on the line today at Flushing Meadows as the women's semifinal was served up on Arthur Ashe Stadium Court. And it was the number two seed, Victoria Azarenka, taking on Flavia Panetta from Italy in the first match of the day. Victoria made the finals last year. She continues that trend this afternoon. She wins the first set 6-4 with one break of serve, then storms through the second 6-2 en route to the finals. And she will face the top-seeded American Serena Williams, the defending champion. Champion beat Lee Na in straight sets, 6-0, 6-3, just a few moments ago, setting up a championship rematch between Azarenka and Williams Sunday afternoon. In basketball news, Knicks guard J.R. Smith has been suspended for five games due to violating the NBA's anti-drug policy. Well, you can feel the excitement right now in the city, the New York City Marathon starting tomorrow, but the focus tonight was on the frozen pond as the Rangers were at the Garden trying to beat Carolina and pick up their third straight victory and what a performance by the blue shirts tonight leading 3-1 in the third period Matt Zuccarello makes a sensational no look pass to Derek Stepan and he converts for his second goal of the game Derek was in the groove tonight five minutes later his shot deflects off a Hurricanes defender and right into the goal for his second career hat trick the Red Hot Rangers prevail 5-1 the final they have won three in a row I love to to tell you guys that uh, after 
this year, I will be retired. He's the all-time saves leader in the major leagues with 608 on his resume and also holds the record for the most saves in the postseason with 42. With five World Series championships in a Bombers uniform and 12 All-Star seasons, Mariano Rivera is ready for this year to be his grand finale. If I would have finished the season last year, I would have retired last year, definitely. Uh, but uh, I didn't want to leave it like that. The Panama City native faced career-threatening injuries in 2012, and he's convinced that the time is right for this decision. Now is the time, man. Yeah. I have give everything, and uh, the tank is almost empty. Although the future Hall of Famer will surely be missed in the Bombers clubhouse. He wanted to help the minor leaguers reach their potential, and that's just a sign of a man giving back, and I think that's what he's meant to this organization off the field that you know, he represents it so well. He, he's had a wonderful career and, and he's going to love, you know, being retired. I've known him since he's been in the minor leagues and he's never changed once. You've seen a lot of players that get a lot of money and a lot of notoriety and become famous and they change over time. He hasn't changed a bit. I mean, he has nothing to prove. He's the greatest, uh, you know, reliever out there of all time. But, you know, gracefully, he just, you know, he, he, he's silent. He does his thing. He's, he's got the, you know, he'll give you the shirt off his back. Well, indeed, Mariano will be missed on the field, and this does set the stage for a very dramatic year in New York and in the world of professional baseball. Reporting in Tampa, I'm Harry Chickma for News 4 New York.